Hello, my name is Amy Mayer Salins, and I'm a staff attorney with Clinics Defending Vulnerable Populations Program. Right now, we are awaiting a decision from the United States Supreme Court on Department of Homeland Security versus the Regents of the University of California, which is the decision that will decide the future of the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA, program. There are two legal questions before the court. First, whether the government's decision to end DACA is something that the court even has the power to review. And second, if so, whether the administration took the correct procedural steps in ending the DACA program. On the second point, it's important to understand that there's actually very little question that the administration could end DACA if it wanted to. The question is really whether the administration provided an adequate explanation for its decision to end the program. So let's dive into the arguments on each of those two questions. The first issue is whether the law allows the courts to review the decision to end DACA. Courts cannot review every single decision that an executive agency makes. In this case, whether the court has the authority to even review the decision to end DACA depends on whether the decision was based on policy or whether instead the decision was based on the agency's belief that the law prohibits the DACA program. The reason this distinction is important is because the court has previously said that an executive branch's decision to bring a particular enforcement action is typically not reviewable by the court and instead is a decision generally committed to an agency's absolute discretion. But the question here is whether the agency was actually exercising its discretion when it chose to end DACA or whether the agency instead ended DACA based on its belief that DACA was illegal. In the second case, that would mean that the agency wasn't actually exercising its discretion. And basically, agencies get to make policy without being second-guessed by courts, but courts get to decide what the law says. So this all comes down to the memo that explained the the agency's decision to end DACA. The lower courts found that this memo only gave a legal justification for ending DACA and that the explanation given was inadequate. The Supreme Court will decide whether it agrees with the lower court's conclusion on this issue. And if so, it will move on to the second legal question. The second issue is whether the administration took the correct procedural steps to end DACA. DACA supporters argue that the administration violated the Administrative Procedures Act, or APA, which is a law that governs how the administrative agencies, including the Department of Homeland Security, can make new policies. Under the APA, the executive branch must provide a reasoned explanation when it seeks to make a policy change. The lower courts held that the Trump administration's explanation for why it was ending DACA was inadequate because it didn't explain why it thought DACA was bad policy. Additionally, there's the reliance interest issue. Broadly speaking, when the government wants to end a policy that many people have relied on, it has to provide an explanation for why the policy shift is justified, despite the fact that many people have come to depend on the policy. The idea here is that it would be arbitrary and capricious for the administration to ignore people's reliance on a program. Under the APA, a policy can be struck down if it is arbitrary and capricious. The government's attorneys have also put forward a number of arguments why the DACA program should end. DACA supporters argue that under a special legal doctrine called the Chenery Doctrine, the court can only rely on the original reasons that the agency offered and not on other reasons that the lawyers have come up with in the interim. The Supreme Court has a lot to consider in this case, and there are many ways that the court could go. Likewise, there are many ways that the administration might respond. We are anxiously awaiting a decision.